Welcome. Hello. Hi, I'm Miss Penny, and these are the Kid Mission Kids. And we're here today to find out about indoor skydiving. Awesome. My name is Jim. I'm the general manager here at iFly. I'm here to walk you through the whole process. We're going to go ahead and get checked in. After that, we're going to go to a class, and then from there, gear up, and we're going to fly. You guys excited? Yes. Awesome. Let's get started. The wind tunnel forces air to move vertically up from the bottom. Gravity is the Earth's force that pulls objects down so they stay on the ground. Air drag happens when a person or object is held between the wind force moving up and the gravity force pulling down. That is what enables flight. Experienced skydivers are able to fly in multiple directions. Horizontal, which means side to side. Vertical, which means up and down and diagonal, which is a cross. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Balls are round solids. They create less air drag than people do. Liquids don't have a shape and instead take on the shape of whatever container they're placed in, like a bottle. When liquid is released into the wind tunnel, it spreads and clings to the nearest air molecule. Hey guys, welcome to iFly. My name is Devin and I'm going to be your instructor today. I'm going to tell you about all the hand signals that we're going to need to communicate in the tunnel because it's going to be loud in there and we're not going to be able to communicate with each other uh, by talking. Can I have a volunteer to come up so I can show you how to fly? Okay, so what I need for you to do is point your toes through the back wall and just bend your knees a little bit, okay? We're gonna use this hand signal to tell you to bend your knees. A lot of people get into the tunnel the first time and they put their feet up on their butt, but we need all this surface area in order to be able to fly. So I want you to keep your legs out and this is the hand signal that I'm gonna use to tell you to do that. We're gonna be taking pictures and video, so I wanna make sure I see your face and not the top of your head. Keep your chin up. The last hand signal that we're going to use to communicate is this. It means relax. We want to be a good solid flyer, so we're going to keep our hips forward, our legs out, and our chin up. All right, guys, let's go get some gear and get in the tunnel. Okay. All right, guys, my name's Kyle. I'm going to be your instructor in there today. Now that we've been through the classroom, we're going to get everything we need to fly. We're going to get jumpsuits, we're going to get helmets and goggles. Once we get all geared up, we're going to get in the wind, we're going to fly, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. We're excited. Awesome. 